All right. So, uh... Can you tell it's been a while since I played this? That- that didn't go as planned. Um... We're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen? That I didn't just get my ass handed to me by Faulkner? And you know what? We're just gonna keep it marching. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so... Let me tell you what happened, right? So I got my ass kicked by Faulkner. And then, uh, I was interrupted right after that. So then I was like, fuck it, I'll pick this up tomorrow. It is not tomorrow. I have Nightshade. I have Nightshade, why didn't I use Nightshade? Oh yeah, that's why, it's normal types. Fuck him up, Miles Morak. Get him. Oh, shit. It's poison. Poison Stang's doing a hell of a lot of damage, though. Look at that. You didn't expect the bug to fucking bite back, did you, bitch? Yeah, so, uh... I just... I, I forgot to save the game after Faulkner kicked my ass, so... <laughs> So here we are again. But you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna edit it out. You know? I'm not gonna edit it out. I'm gonna take my L. I got my ass handed to me by Faulkner. Alright? Happens to the best of us. I remember one time I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 and... And like, it only happened once, but I got my ass kicked by Sean Yu. And I was like, what? This man can kill me? Blasphemy. Man, his fucking bird kept fucking me up. Alrighty. Hit him up with that poison sting. Making him feel bad about himself. Making him feel bad about his decisions. He didn't know what he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know what he got himself into. Bird showed up, said, oh look, it's dinner. And then dinner bit back. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going through the motions right now. I don't even fucking remember how Faulkner kicked my ass. I'm gonna have to look back at that recording while I'm editing this. I'm just gonna look at it and be like, oh, that's how Faulkner kicked my ass. Also, did I, did I mention that this game, uh... That this version of the game has a run button? <laughs> yeah. My special Game Boy Color version of, of Silver has a- my bad, not Silver, Crystal. Has a, uh, has a run button. And no, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a speed up. <laughs> this isn't a speed up on the emulator. <laughs> they actually added a fucking run button, which is nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Makes things go faster in this game. That and I believe they made it so that you can, uh, so that you can fight the, uh, what you call it? You can rematch the gym leaders whenever you feel. If you need to get some training in. Alright, Faulkner. Got my ass kicked by you. I wasn't, I wasn't in my right state of mind. I was sick at the time. I'm still getting over a cold. I got a slight cough. Why'd I say cough like that? Cough. My fucking New Yorker came out. I got a slight cough. Alright, that's fine though. Miles Marax is gonna be doing all the heavy lifting. Poison Sting that bitch. Now, I think Constrict works the exact same way in Gen 1, where, like, it just doesn't let your opponent move at all. I think I might have said that during the Bell Sprout Tower. I'm not sure. Probably did. Right, Pidgeotto, come on out. Gonna get hit by that gust and it's gonna ruin my day. Hit him with that poison. Make him feel bad about himself. Oh damn, Rag's eating fucking gus like it's nothing? How did you lose last time? Hmm. 
get poison, get poison, get poison. Fuck, that was a critical hit, man. Constrict! Oh, we're dead. That's how we died. I love you, Spinarak! You're the best! Go, Hex Girl! Yay! I don't think you can use Parish Song. Oh, my bad. Side Wave. I forgot. Why did I think I had Parish Song? Can't use. Confuse Ray. Make you think about your decisions. You don't know where you're at, you don't know who you are. You're a fucking bird, and you're confused, and you got little birds on top of your head, and you're like, what? I don't remember being a... being a father. I had to look at the Pokemon's gender for a moment. <laughs> it's like, when... when did I have a baby? What? By the way, Hex Girl, you're deciding to listen You're deciding to listen to me, that's... that's nice. And you just missed. You know what? I don't blame you. Instead of use Confuse Ray. You know, that's fine, because it snapped out of confusion. You know what? At least at least you weren't like, hey man, I'm gonna use spite because fuck you. Hit yourself. See? There we go. That's how we do it. Good job, Hex Girl. Hell yeah. Level 16. Get it. Cost him fucking mass hysteria. I know when I was a kid and the first time I saw the Hex Girls cost me confusion, I was like, what? I like this? Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. I got beat by a kid using his dad's Pokemon? What the f- Whatever, here's the first- uh, here's an here's an official Pokemon League badge, it's the Zypher badge. And here's 1300 bucks. Fucking pampered ass, spoiled ass, rich kid. The Zypher badge enables Pokemon to use Flash. If they have it anytime. Here, take this too. You know, anytime except for when you try to use it and then the game goes, no, 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 you can't use that here. No, no. TM31. This one has the move, uh, has the move Mud Slap. Why do you have Mud Slap? I think, I think this might have been a change in the, uh, in, uh, the perfect crystal ROM hack. Because I, I think Faulkner's supposed to give you Roost? It reduces enemy accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. Alright. I thought you were supposed to give me Roost or something, right? Am I crazy? Whatever, Mud Slap. We got it. We're moving. We're moving on. Spinneract did a lot of heavy lifting. Who the fuck? Prof Elm, what do you want? Hello, Fire. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant's at the Pokemon Center. Violet City. Could you talk to him? Click. What if I just didn't? What if I just ignored him? What if I just said, Hey, Elm, I don't really give a fuck about the bullshit you're trying to do? Right? Because I don't. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Alright, what do you want, Poindexter? Fire, well, long time no see. Puff Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? No. But, but Puff Elm asked... He just starts crying. He's like, buddy, but... <laughs> sure, I'll take the fucking egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. I mean, you're, you're a scientist, you should have been know that. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to... to... to heal... what? To hatch? Did it say to hatch or to heal? I, I was paying attention. Probably said hatch, but it looked like heal. Fire, you're the only person who can... who we can rely on. Please call Prof. Elm when that egg hatches. Thanks. <coughs> That's the cough I'm getting over. Alright. Now that, uh, now that fucking what's-his-face, Faulkner's down, right? Faulkner. Now that he's got his ass kicked, time for us to go get our new party member. Let me go make sure that we actually have, uh, potions. Potions? My bad. Pokeballs. We have 11. That's good. Alright. To get our next member. And I'm gonna put Mimi up front. Mimi! 
force to be reckoned with. How many potions do I have, by the way? Mimi! Why am I checking my Pokemon? I'm having I'm having a moment here, alright? I have one potion. Eh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alrighty. Uh, let me just do something real quick. Take my hand and just go over to the volume on my Game Boy Color. Don't pay attention to that noise right there. No, no, no. <laughs> it was pretty loud in my ear. Alright. Route 31. An odd tree's blocking the way to Goldenrod City. Oh, what a dickhead. It's prevented me from shopping. Something should be done about it. So what, you can spend all your fucking dad's money? Come on, man, he worked hard for that shit. Well, hey! Whoa, bye I was gonna snap that tree with my straight arm punch. But I couldn't. I'm a failure. I mean... I mean, what'd you expect? My man played a little bit of Minecraft, said, I'm about to go fucking punch a tree. <laughs> he really thought about it. Alright, uh, I, I might be going the wrong way, actually. Hold up. No, I'm going the right way. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm fine. We're fine. We're fine, I know what I'm doing. Route 32, I, I know what I'm doing, right? Maybe, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Now we can go past this guy. Yay, cock blocking bastard. Alright. Here on Route 32, we're gonna find our next partner. I think it's Route 32, anyways. Go, Mimi! Fuck my Mimi! Hit him with that tackle. Bit backle. Uh. Damn it, it's still alive. Now it's shaking its ass at you. What are you gonna do about that? There we go. Love you, Mimi. Mimi hit level 16. What? Mimi's evolving. It's learning. Yay! Congratulations. Your Mimi, aka Chikorita, turned into a bay leaf. I fucking love bay leaf. I fucking love bay leaf. I fucking love bay leaf. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Out of Gen 2 starters, I, I love Cyndaquil, right? You know, fucking Typhlosion line is the best. But, motherfuckers be sleeping on Bayleaf and Meganium. I mean, Meganium's cool, right? But I feel like its design has just just a little bit too much. Maybe the changing of the color green or something. I don't know, I like the flower on it, though. But, um, I fucking love Bayleaf. Bayleaf is great. Look at that Rattata shake its ass at me. He's getting ready to get fucked. He knows it's about to happen. Hit him with that razor leaf. Get a paper cut. Watch out. It hurts. Yeah, so fucking... Bayleaf. Goddamn force to be reckoned with. And then we get Meganium. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. That thing just starts fucking curve stomping everything. In this goddamn game. To the point where I'm gonna have to limit my use of Meganium. Because Meganium's fucking great, and I love Meganium. There we go. Zubat's down! I think Zubat has eyes, but they're like really small. Renders them useless. Alright. Down to repel. Yay. It may not be Route 32. It may be a little bit further in where we get our new teammate. But you guys are gonna love him. They're great. Boom, boom, Mimi. Are you staring at a wall? Uh-huh, yeah, and you know? Mm, pardon? Battle? I'm on the fucking phone, bitch. Alright, but make it fast. You sound like... <laughs> you sound like my ex. 
What? Now? I'm on the phone. Alright, but just make it quick. Like, thank you. Don't worry, ma'am, I will be quick. <laughs> For those who get the joke. I'm talking about sex, you see. <laughs> It feels so weird that they just kept the moniker for, uh, for the Nidorans, right? Like, it's just part of your name now. Nidoran male, Nidoran female. I don't think they've ever changed that. I think they just kept that over the years. Alright, bitch. You got curve stomp. Maybe you should've got off the phone. Nope, it's Route 32. Okay. I thought Route 32 connected to something else. Give me my boy. Give me my boy. Yeah! Wild Whooper. This Wild Whooper's a girl. Wait, no, it's a boy. I'm sorry. I don't know my gender signs. Alright. So I'm gonna try my best to not kill you. You know what? I'm just gonna hit you with that poison dappin power. Didn't affect. I'm sorry. I hate that phrasing. Does it mean it doesn't affect or I just fucked up? Okay. Means I just fucked up. <coughs> Try my best to not cough directly into the microphone. Alright. Now that you're poisoned, I don't I don't want to hit you, I'll let the poison do the work, but like it, it should be easier to catch you. Get in the fucking Pokeball. Uh, it's making me wet. How dare you. Be careful, Whooper. That poison dapping power, it's getting you. It's gonna make you sneeze. There you go. We got Whooper. Hell yeah. Whooper was added to the Pokedex. A mucous membrane covers its body, touching... Membrane is a big word for fucking kids, man. It's bare-headed... What? It's bare-handed... Wait, what? Yeah, it's bare-handed will cause a shooting pain. Oh, touching it bare-handed will cause a shooting pain. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Never knew that. Nickname! What are we gonna call him? Well, you already know what we're about to call him. Fucking that boy. It's that boy. Send him out there. Alrighty. Now, oh fucking Christ. I forgot that. I forgot that this game tries to give you a seizure when you're poisoned. Accurate, but fucked up. Right? So, now that we have that boy in our uh, team, I'm gonna do a bit of training with them, right? Get him up to snuff, you know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit, you know, so uh, don't go anywhere, and if you do, come on man, I'm trying my best out here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man machine, we're back, and in the meantime, that boy has went from what, level 4? To, uh, to level 15. And here's how he's looking. He's looking great. He's looking dapper. He's gonna be our tank of the party. I love him already. Look at that smile. I cannot love that. Also, uh, our fucking Pokemon hatched while I was training. Uh, we got a Tokepi, right? And I named it Worthless because that's what it is to me. So, yeah. Is it no metronome already off the bat? Nope, Growling Charm. I think it learns Metronome at like level 10 or something. I don't know. Let me look at my other screen because it makes me feel better about myself. Um, but yeah. That glance, it's intriguing. So what, wanna fight about it? <laughs> look at that stance. Look at that power stance. Camper rolling. He's out here. He's rolling. He's rolling out here. Get him that boy! Go! Work him up! Hit that motherfucker with a slam! Ugh. 
crush its bones. Are you staring at me? I'm getting leery out here? Splash. Take a bath, you dirty bitch. <laughs> yeah, so, I'll say that boy is uh, up to stuff. We're gonna have that boy lead the charge for a bit, you know. Because, you know, I don't want to instantly take that boy all the way up to his maximum power level. You know, you gotta, gotta let him simmer a bit. I gotta get some fucking repels, too. I should have done that. You dare challenge me? Know your place. How dare you. How dare you step up to the fucking mat. Should have sat down. Stayed on the bench. Right? Okay. So we're gonna do a couple of battles out here. Right? Because, I mean, it's free experience. Why would, you, why would you say no? I can easily be that guy that just avoids, like, every trainer. And just grind my ass off, off screen, and be like, Hey, we're here now. Right? Probably would make the series go a bit faster, but, you know, I mean, part, you know, it's about the journey, not the destination. Unless you're doing a Pokemon Marathon, <laughs> then it's kind of about the destination, because after playing a handful of Pokemon games, you're just like, I want to fucking get this sh over with right now. <coughs> There's Goldie. Remember that time Goldine stuck its horn up Ash's ass? So be careful for the horn. Watch out. And then Ash was like, oh no. Wait, Ash was more like, oh no. <laughs> 237 experience. Fucking, I should have been fighting your ass. I tried to rush things. See, and that's why you failed. That's why you failed. Got these other fishermen out here. Whoa. Whoa there, buddy. You made me lose that fish. I didn't make you do shit. You decided to turn around and answer me. I just said something and you got spooked. That's your fault. That's your fault, Justin. How dare you. Eh, Magikarp. They're so fun to fight. Oh my god, I missed a fucking Magikarp. It does nothing but flop on the floor, please. See, this is just a Magikarp, but it's not like... It's not like in Gen 1, you know? It's not the King of Cups. Magico. Mm. Man, I want to point out that, like, between... Between now, like, this recording right here, and when I started doing the Pokemon Marathon... Uh, well, can it really be called a marathon anymore? Right? Because I had to take a break. I had to take a break. Fucking, it was a lot. Right, but I'm still gonna do it, right? Um... But, like, since then, a new Pokemon's game come out. And I was gonna wait until the end of the marathon to, like, you know, have that be my first exposure to Scarlet and Violet, but... But I've done that with a lot of games on this channel, and I still have games that I own for years that I haven't played because either I want to stream them or I fucking want to, like, have my first playthrough be recorded. And I was like, I'm not doing that with Pokemon. I love Pokemon too much. I love it too much, I'm not gonna do that to myself, right? So, when I played that game, I played the fuck out of that game and completed the Pokedex, and I went, I am done with this. <laughs> right, so, between, between the beginning of this marathon and now, like, that's happened, and now fucking Ash Ketchum, Ash Kitchen, right? Fucking, he's gone, he, he's getting, they're getting rid of him. He's out of the anime. He won two championships in 20 years. Over 20 years. And it's like... And it's like fucking, uh... You know? It's like he's done now. Which, I mean... I'm not gonna lie. Kinda happy about it, right? Like, I haven't really watched Pokemon since, like, Gen 3. And even Gen 3, I was teetering off around there, except for, like, the movies, but, like... After, like, the Manaphy movie... I wanna say Pokemon probably went downhill, because they just, like, everything was just so safe. You know? Right? Fucking... Like, Ash wasn't risking his fucking neck for everything anymore. Like, all respect I have for that boy went away. 
It's crazy because people keep comparing that motherfucker to Red, and it's like, that's not Red. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. He's not Red. Now, did Red ever, like, fucking get between a Mew and a Mew too? Like, no. Did Red die, like, fucking 20 times in a span of 20 years and come back to life? No. Right? And, and th in terms of the adventure, I would say, I would say Ash, you know, Ash is better than Red. But in terms of, as a trainer, fuck no. What are you talking about? Don't ever compare the two. How dare you? How dare you? Right? But yeah, they're getting rid of, they're getting rid of Ash and they got like this new fucking boy and girl. I don't know their names, I just saw the designs of them and... A part of me is disappointed. Uh, not because Ash is leaving, but because those designs are like the most like... Fucking new age anime shit ever. Where it's like, it's, it's more tamed compared to like... Something that Yu-Gi-Oh has been doing, right? Like, look at, look at fucking... First generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! and look at it now, and fucking how every fucking character has 50 different highlights. And like, the character designs are created to give you a seizure, right? But like... So like, the new character designs for Pokemon, you know... It's not that type of level of like, fucking egregiousness. But... Man, I just look at them and I'm like, oh god. I'm like, can we just have like... You know, can we just keep kind of like... I don't want to say normal design because ain't nothing normal about fucking Pokemon. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail? For you right now, it's just... One million dollars. So you guys can't see me, I don't got a face cam, but I'm doing, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the Austin Powers thing, right? You want this? Hell yeah! I thought kids these days were loaded. Listen, I know, I know parents use the shit out of their kids for YouTube now, but like, come on, I got a great ball, look at that. My balls are great. <laughs> I think there's more trainers out there. There might be. I should go and check. But yeah, it's like... I look at the new trainers, right, and... I don't hate them, but I sure as fuck don't love their designs, you know? And I, you know, the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, like, is it like the Persona thing? Where, like, you know, all you New Age Persona 5 fans won't understand, you don't understand me, right? But, uh, I'm like, is it the Persona thing where you just see the new cast of characters and your initial reaction is, they're weird, because they don't remind me of the old cast? But at the end of the day, it's like, no, they're great, they're really good, their designs are strong. And fucking their characters are strong, and their writing is strong. Right? So, I'm trying to think, like, is it that type of thing? Where it's like, ah, oh, it's just different, so initially you just kinda look at it and go, meh, whatever. That badge is from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? Damn, dog. I mean, I don't know why he's surprised I beat Faulkner, fucking... Oh, I guess he might be a friend of his, Birdkeeper. It's me, Peter. Hey, Lois. But yeah, it's like... I, I don't know if it's just because it's like a new thing that like, I'm adverse to it. I don't think that's the case. Right? Because, again, even with something like Persona 5, when the new characters got announced or whatever, and you saw, like, the intro for Persona 5 for the first time, and you're like, man, it's hella different. But, like, fucking, it took me two seconds to just be like, fuck it, I love these guys. But I look at the new designs for Pokemon, and I'm like, ah. I'm like, oh, you guys just look so boring. You look so boring because, like, you're so... They look so boring because it looks like they're trying to make the character designs exciting. But, you know, I, I don't, like, it's weird. I really don't know how to explain it, other than what the hell I'm saying right now, you know? And I'm probably explaining it bad, but it's just, it's just weird. Alright?
Bird Keeper Peter has been defeated. I know what weakness, what my weakness are. Do you? Do you? You still got your ass kicked by a whooper. Oh fuck, do I gotta go in the cave? Union cave. Oh fuck, I do. Ah, shit. Do I gotta use flash in here? No, I don't. Alright, we're good. We're good, man. This is very cash money. Actually, isn't Union Cave, isn't Union Cave, like, really short? It's not like fucking down the road when they're like, here's Victory Road. It'll take you like an hour to get through. I didn't expect to see anyone here. I mean, it's the only way to the other fucking... to the other town, dickhead. Daniel would like to battle. Go, Onyx. Go, Destroyer of Worlds. Uber. Man. I just said Destroyer of Worlds and no, no one will get that joke <coughs> for, uh, I might as well explain it. Um, long ago, I think I've deleted it since then, but long ago, in the very early days of my YouTube career, like around the time of the Life is Strange playthrough, uh, which I will never get rid of even though it's probably bad. Uh, fucking, I did a Pokemon Red Nuzlocke run, which... I didn't complete, not because I lost, just because I just stopped recording it, right? But in there, I had a Beedrill, and I named him Derek. <laughs> named him Derek, I don't know why I named him Derek, but I named him Derek. And Beedrill was going to town, so he was known as Derek the Destroyer of Worlds. <laughs> don't worry, Derek will make a fucking, he will make a comeback in this, in this goddamn series, right? At some point. I I will never forget about Derek. The Destroyer of Worlds. But but every time I every time I think I've probably done it in a couple of fucking playthroughs now where I'll just say something I'll be like the Destroyer of Worlds. And that's just a joke for myself. That boy is level 17, that's right. That boy out there getting fucking big and swole. But he's still stupid, and I love him for it. He's got that fucking... He's got that special guy power. <laughs> the special guy strength. Fucking love him. Good job, that boy. Ho ho ho. Okay, Santa, see ya. Don't know why you said that to me, but alright. You dare challenge me? How dare you? Bum, 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 bum. Fuck! I missed. Even if we fucking caught like a female whooper, I still would have named him that that boy. Cause it's that boy. Got that goofy ass face. I love him. I fucking love him. I love him. So stupid. Fire breather Bill. <laughs> Go coughing, wheezing, in its new evolution. Choking. <laughs> Smoking's bad for you. Water gun. Right? I don't think your special defense is good. You, right? You only got defense? I don't think, uh, I don't think this game has, uh, EVs yet, right? I'm pretty sure I haven't talked about EVs. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen until Generation 3. I could be wrong. But, man, if this game does have EVs, I'm not gonna explain them right now, because I don't think, I don't think they're in this game. But if this game does have EVs, I might have fucking powered the fuck out of that boy, because our training consists of me just fucking genociding a bunch of Geodudes. <laughs> we can never return to this place. Just a pile of fucking dead rocks. And like the odd fucking Dunsparce. And Zubat, because it kept pissing me off. Had to kill him. Had to get rid of him. I flamed out. I flamed on. I got a potion! Hey! 
I got a Poteon. It's the newest Pokemon in the EV line. Dude, imagine. Imagine fucking they made a poison type EV and they just name it Poteon. <laughs> and it's just like a fucking bunch of chemicals and shit. If it lights a cave isn't scary. Wait, what? If it's light a cave isn't scary, okay. If your strong Pokemon aren't scary. But what? Wait, if your strong Pokemon aren't scary, but what if the Pokemon's strong? Isn't the point to have strong Pokemon? Aww, it's a Vulpix. Ah, oh, fuck it. I feel so bad now because I gotta kill you. I fucking love Vulpix. Not that good of a Pokemon, but, you know. I love it, damn it! I love you, Vulpix. I prefer Vulpix over Ninetales. I think everyone does. It's too fucking adorable. Wow, that did nothing, Vulpix. What was your plan? What was your plan? You're dead now. Flash! But the cave's already light. That's probably why the cave's light, because he's out here fucking using Flash. What the fuck is a Rattata doing in the cave? Are you serious? I shall let you live. You strayed too far away from home. Oh, I should really explore the cave more. Ah, but we gotta get a move on. Route 33! Pant Pant. I finally got through the cave. It was much bigger than I expected. I got too tired to explore the whole thing, so I came outside. You know what? Me too. I don't blame you. I don't blame- Are you okay? You're tweaking, my guy. He kept moving. I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. Then go back in the tunnel. Get your ass back in there. You're like, nah, I'm done. I'm done with the tunnel. I'm just gonna sit here and fight the next fucking kid I see. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Okay, Hiker Anthony. Oh, Hiker Anthony. Oh. You're about to experience the fucking the crash. You got all this energy, you're about to crash in like two seconds. And your geo dude's gonna fucking crumble. Like a brick house. About to use my chat. Oh shit. I haven't really been using Mimi. Mimi's not gonna get much out of get much experience out of these fights. Eh, water gun, fuck it. Your special defense is dog shit. You know what? I didn't expect you to take that. Oops! Hit him with the slam! Oh fuck, that boy. That boy! No! Alright. Mimi, get your bitch ass out there. I'm not using Hex Girl because, uh, apparently she just doesn't want to listen to me. I thought she would listen to me till like, level 20. Right, especially after getting the, uh... The, uh, Zypher badge, but she said no. <coughs> Mimi's level 17. Whoa, you got more zip than me. I think I need an adult. Shouldn't say that to kids. You got more zip? 